All right, guys, so I kind of got screwed over when I bought this bike, and so I just wanted to go over a couple things to look at when you're buying a motorcycle or a dirt bike. So if you're buying a project bike, some of these might apply. But first of all, obviously, if the guy says it runs and you're expecting it, expecting it to run, then try to start it. In my case, this thing is totally screwed up. And if you have something like this where it's an easy fix, um, you know, like the battery's dead on your electric starter or your Kickstarter stripped out or something. Um, if the guy says that it runs and all you need is that, try bump starting it. If it doesn't bump start, um, you're, you, he lied to you because it should start if you bump start it. If you have a semi-auto like this, that could be a problem since the gear isn't engaged. So, you'd have to test your luck with that. Next thing to check is if it's got an air filter. If you need to get under the seat uh, on some bikes, to check the air filter, then bring tools with you. Because if there's no air filter on it, like this one, and he's been running it without an air filter, that means that it's been the motor and carburetor have been sucking in dirt and a bunch of gunk. And... You know, you might even need a new carburetor or and you might need to do a thorough cleaning of the entire engine Which would not be fun. So definitely check for that if you find it Then see if the guy will uh, go down on the price a couple hundred bucks or just don't get it It's your choice. Another thing is you want to make sure if it does run and you can get it started, you want to make sure that the clutch isn't slipping. Make sure that the gears aren't grinding. And you want to make sure that it hits, uh, if it's a two-stroke, that it hits the power band in every gear. Another thing you want to check is obviously the brakes throttle response. You want to check for exhaust leaks. See? You want to check for tire pressure and if the tires are flat try and pump them up if they leak out again then you know that's not good check check for bends in the rim check to make sure your forks and back shock work check the bearings in between here and the top link of the shock all you got to do is pick the bike up and wiggle it around so let me show you real quick there's a little bit of slop in there That's how you check the back shock. Uh, you want to make sure there's a muffler on there. Unless you don't care about a muffler. In that case, that's fine. You don't need one. You also want to look over the motor for anything. Uh, for blown gaskets, for leaks, for cracks, for JB welds. See? Look, I got, I got totally screwed with this. That's my motor mount down there, man. I'm leaking all my oil out. Oil out. Um, but yeah, you wanna check for stuff like that. Uh, it's, that's definitely not good if it's got a crack in it. You wanna check the gas tank for bad gas because if it's been sitting for a while, you're gonna need to drain the tank. If there's even any gas in there, which there is for me, uh, it's this gas is bad and I need to drain it out. You want to check your steering head bearings, or uh, yeah, triple clamp, steering head, whatever you want to call it. Push on the front brakes and kind of move the bike back and forth. And for me, it's, it's pretty wiggly. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not good. This is shimmying around. So I need new headset bearings. You also want to check how much oil is in there. I'm completely empty, and that's not good. If he's been running it without oil, then something's got to be chewed up. Um, and that's definitely not a good sign. You also want to check your spark plug. And all you gotta do is pop this little cap off, and if you brought your tools, you can take the spark plug out and test to see if it sparks. All right, so that's basically the lowdown 
of how to, well, not get screwed over essentially when you're buying uh, a used dirt bike, pit bike, supermoto, race bike, touring bike, just anything on two wheels like this. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped some people out. Um, I know that if I bought something like this before I bought this bike, you know, I definitely wouldn't have gotten screwed over so bad. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.